Hi guys. So in this tutorial, what we're going to do today is we're going to learn how to use a file browser like this. Um, so I'm click browse right here to go ahead and upload files into our Python program. It's not really uploading because our program isn't online. Basically, to take files from elsewhere in the file system and basically utilize them in our program. So we we click the browse button. We open this up. We're going to open up a CV and we're going to submit it. And basically here, where we are um, running the script from, we can see the CV, the contents of the CV have been printed out to the console. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna make a window where we can upload a CV or basically load a CV into our program and then print out the contents as a 2D array um, in the console. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Actually, let me just reopen that. So we've got that. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a new file called main window because we're really just going to have one window and that's going to be where everything's going to go. Now, as usual, import my simple GUI as SG, which seems to be the convention for most programs. We're also going to import CSV and OS, CSV specifically to um, basically be able to read a CSV file and OS in order to work with some directories. Now let's go ahead and let's create the layout, which is where we're going to specify um, our different elements, including our file browser. Remember that's a 2D array, um, and each um, array within that 2D array represents a different uh, row in our program. So the first row is just gonna be, uh, choose a CSV file, this text right here. So we'll just say sg.text, choose a CSV file. A comma, another array. Now, next we're going to have um, a our file browser as well as the text that's going to hold the address of the file that we've chosen. So we're going to have um, sg .input text, and we're going to give this the key file path. And that key is going to help us read that later on. Um, and also on the same line, we're going to have our uh, file browse elements. So we're going to say sg.filebrowse. Um, and okay, we need to have a comma right there. So we're going to have sg.filebrowse, and then we're going to have initial folder uh, equals working directory, which is a variable that we haven't specified yet. Now, Basically what happens is when we click this browse button, we click right here, and this opens up um, the operating systems file browser. And what working directory is, the reason we put working directory here is because we want it to open up to the director, directory in which we're currently writing our code. So the directory in which our application lives. And in order to do that, we will specify, we will say working directory up here equals OS dot get cwd no not isos so that's just going to set that's going to specify this directory right here it's pysimple gui file browser live so that when we open um, when we click the browse button we go straight to that directory that we've specified now right here this initial folder keyword as i've just said specifies where the file browser opens to so that could be anywhere in the file system depending on what we're doing we just decided to choose the current directory that, the current directory that we're working in. Um, so the next uh, input we're going to specify is file type, rather file types. And what this is going to do is this is going to take in an array, and inside of that we're going to have sets of tuples. Um, in this case, we're just going to have one set of tuples because we want to only work with CSV files. Um, and one important thing to note about this is for some reason this doesn't work on the Mac op operating system. So it's, I, I'm not really going to be able to demonstrate it here. Um, but basically what would happen is when we were to open our browser, these would be shown gr as gray and they wouldn't be selectable and only, um, files with a CSV extension as shown right here would be selectable for, um, uploading or loading into our program. So we've got an array right here. We've got our tuple right here. Um, and it looks like we're gonna need a, another parentheses right here. 
we want to go ahead and close this right here. So we've got file types. Oh, we need an equal sign right here as well. So that should go ahead and work. So we've got a tuple inside an array, and then this parentheses is closing this out right here. So, all right. OK, that makes sense. We had one too many parentheses. All right, so basically what's going to happen is whenever we click the Browse button and we select um, this file, for example, it's going to go ahead and store the path in our file system into our input text element. And there's not really like, it's interesting because it's very difficult to see the connection between these two elements. But my assumption is just because they're um, adjacent to each other, this goes ahead and just stores the string for the file path into this input text element. Um, so a bit of mystery there, but that's basically how it works. And then next, we're just going to have a submit button so we can really load that into our program and go ahead and do something with it. So we have input submit, which is pretty standard. And then we also want to have an exit button here. Cool. OK, that's our layout. Uh, let's go ahead and create the window object. We'll say window.sg.window .window, um, file loader. It's going to be the title of the window. And then we'll just input this layout right here. And then we'll go to our while loop, which we generally always use. Um, there are some examples online where a while loop isn't used, but I just like to use it um, just as sort of um, a standard uh, piece of code. So classic if event in sg.win closed, just allowing us to close up the window whenever we want. And if we select either exit or decide to close the window, it's going to break us out of the while loop right here, the infinite while loop, and go ahead and close the window. And then let's go ahead and, and handle the submit button. So we'll say elif uh, event equals submit, referring to this button right up here. Uh, we'll go ahead and well, first of all, we want to get this file path that we've stored right here. So basically this. Um, and we're going to, to do that, we're going to say CSV address equals values file path. That should be values right there. Um, and again, this file path right here is referring to the key that we specified right here. Now, once we have the CSV address, we've got, a, we've got the address to the CSV in our file system. We want to handle it. Um, and we really want to print out the context of the CSV file. So we want to print out these, um, these contents in our console, or basically in our, in our command line. So I'm going to write a function to deal with that. Um, so we're going to say def convert or def display CSV array, um, basically in order to display the CSV as a 2D array. And as input, we're going to take in our CSV address. So we're going to say file equals open CSV address. And then CSV reader equals CSV.reader. So basically here, we're, getting, we're creating a file object using the address that we got um, from our PySimple GUI application. And then we are getting a reader object, which is basically an iterator using that. And we're going to say header equals next uh, CSV reader. And what this is doing is this is basically making sure that when we start reading this file, um, we're not going to start right here with the header, but we're going to start below that. So we're just going to move one row um, below using the next function. And now we're just going to use an array for row in CSV reader. Um, rows.append. So actually, we need to create an empty rows array right here. Rows.append and then row. So basically, every row is going to be appended as its own array into the rows array. So this is going to be one row, another row, and another row. And once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and close out our file, or rather our connection to the file, and then return rows. So return all of that return this array with the contents of the CSV besides the header. So we've got that. And then what we're going to do here is we're basically just going to say print display uh, CSV array. 
uh, inputting our CSV address. And that's pretty much it. Now let's go ahead and let's test this out. We'll go ahead and close out our uh, demo application just to make sure that we've, we're working with the application we want to be working with. So let's go ahead and let's uh, hit that button right there. Let's browse. Um, we've got a, okay, so it took, it took us right here. Let's open that up. Let's hit submit. And right here we can see our 2D array with the contents of this CSV right up here. And that's how a file browser works. Um, there are different things you can do. You can actually have, you can upload more than one file at a time and compare the contents. Um, you can upload different types of files. I, I have another tutorial where we uploaded image files and we handled those accordingly. Um, this really just offers your application a lot of possibilities to take in different types of files uh, from the user and then make use of that data in whatever way you might want to. So I hope that was useful to you. Uh, if you found value in this tutorial and you'd like to see more, please consider liking and subscribing to this channel. Have a nice day.